Hello guys, today I want to show you some trick or potential error that you can get with carbon objects in Laravel. So let's launch Artisan Tinker and I will show you what you can get, what problem, if you perform several operations on the same carbon object. And also I will show you carbon immutable classes for those of you who don't know that and what is the difference and why you should know about that. So let's for example introduce a new carbon object with the helper of now 6 a.m currently for those of you who don't know that now is a helper for carbon now so the longer version of that is carbon class carbon now like this it's the same thing and now let's introduce a variable three hours later for example which would be now add hours three right and this is three hours later 9 a.m correct right but now, what if you want to create a four hours later variable from the original now? Four hours later equals the same now, add hours four. And you would expect the result probably that it should be 10 a.m. because it's six plus four, right? Let's try it out. And the result is different. It's 13, it's 1 p.m. Why? because the way carbon methods work, like add hours, add days, add something or subtract something, it's not only assigning the value to the new variable, but also changes the original object doing the same operation. Which means whatever new operation you launch on the same object, it will be from the last change of that object, not from the original one. That's why there's a separate class called carbon immutable, which doesn't do the same behavior, and if we try to do carbon immutable now, it's almost the same thing. So 6 a.m., you wouldn't even notice probably the difference. And then if we do three hours later from here, we have 9 a.m. And if we do four hours later, we have 10 a.m., exactly as we expected. So that operation now at hours four is done from the original now variable and this adds hours only to that variable but doesn't change the original now object. So this is just a quick tip for you working with carbon objects in Laravel or even outside Laravel so you would not fall into trap of multiple operations and getting unexpected results. If you want more short tips like this one, subscribe to the channel and also you can subscribe to my weekly newsletter which I send every Thursday which something like 20 links or so about Laravel that I find over that week both from myself and from the community. So the link will be in the description below and join 6,000 subscribers at the moment or even more maybe and get the new email every Thursday. That's it for now and see you guys in other videos.